Welcome to Student Finance, Student Payments and Refunds. In this session, we'll learn how to record a student payment and issue a refund for excess funds. The process is broken into two sections, payment and refund. First, either the student makes a payment or you record the payment on their behalf. If it's a debit card, EFT, or wire transfer payment, you'll create a deposit. Then, you'll create a settlement run for student payments. To create refunds, you'll generate pending student refunds and then create a settlement run for student refunds. Mariana Waters has authorized the Bursar's office to make a direct debit payment on her behalf. Acting as Valerie Rodriguez, the AMU Bursar, I'll use the Record Student Payment task to submit a general direct debit payment for $24,000. I'll use the Create Settlement Run task to recognize Mariana's payment. I'll select the Add button and choose Student Payments. Then I'll select the Search button and select Mariana's payment. Finally, I'll select the Process button and then the Refresh button until the process completes. When I review the Student Financial section of Mariana's student profile, notice the payment applied toward the semester's charges. The excess funds are listed as an unapplied payment. Typically, you'll use the Generate Pending Student Refunds task to mass refund students. In this scenario, I only want to create a refund for Mariana. I'll select the Action button and then Financials and Create Pending Student Refund. I'll select the Refund Students Payment checkbox. I'll select the On Account Payment for Mariana and submit the refund. If I wanted to create a check refund rather than direct debit, I could select the Process Refund as Check Override checkbox. Back on Mariana's student profile, notice the excess funds are now in the Pending Refund Amount column. Finally, I'll create a settlement run for the student refund. This time, I'll select the Add button and choose Student Refunds. I'll select the Search button and then select the Pending Refund for Mariana. Finally, I'll select the Process button and then the Refresh button until the process completes. Now, when I review the student's profile, notice the excess amount is in the Settle Refund Amount column. In this session, we recorded a student payment and created a settlement run to apply it. Then, we generated a direct debit refund and created a settlement run for pending refunds. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.